What in the hell am I actually looking at right now? <laughs> Orienteering, man. It's not over quite yet. So we still got a Pro XP stranded in the woods a couple hours north of here. And uh, we got to get her out. So we brought out the big guns. We got Mud Life. We got Battle Dad with us. We've got a truck load of supplies. And we're uh, going to go into the wilderness and get our machine back today. Hopefully. <laughs> Confidence level's pretty high. But... Uh, you never know. It's been out there for basically 48 hours at this point. So. so what's the actual plan here? The actual plan is to use Mud Life to truck us and these 36 inch tires. We got four of them. The other one's in the back of the machine. And we got jacks and we got all sorts of tools. We're going to lift the machine up out there. We're going to get the tracks off of it. We're going to swap these tires onto it and then hopefully just drive it out. So. We brought big, you know, high lift off-road jacks. We brought small jacks. We brought a bunch of wood. We brought, you know, all sorts of battery operated tools and uh, chains and straps and extra winch ropes and just all sorts of recovery equipment. So ideally we'll be able to just get it out there, lift it up, swap the tires on and she'll drive right out. But if, uh, if she's going to fight us, we're, we're prepared for a fight. So, <laughs> well, let's get this done, brother. All right. UP's gotten a lot more snow. Yeah. Unfortunate, unfortunate for sure, but I think it's gonna be okay. I think mud life's gonna work great out here. You know, the first couple miles we have to go our uh, packed trail, that'll be no problem. And the tough trail that the machine is stuck in, it's really not that deep in there. So I think less than a, less than a mile where, you know, the snow is really deep. So hopefully we can just cruise right in there, not run into too many obstacles, get this thing done, get out of here. We'll see. <laughs> Lots of optimism. I really enjoy that, but think of positive. <laughs> right. <laughs> we're pulling up right now, so we're going to find out soon how easy this is gonna be. It's time, man. It's time to go get her. Got the rescue unit here. <laughs> oh, oh, she's burning right, dude. She's burning right. It's been a while, but she's ready. Built for this shot, man. <laughs> so, Will, in the back, we're going to put four 36 inch tires yeah. that we're bolting onto the Pro, <laughs> yep. along with a multitude of jacks, tools, other stuff. We're going to pack her. We're going to pack her tight. Pack her tight, dude. That's what we're going to do. Pack her tight. All right, boys, this is it. We can make it over the first snowbank. I think we're doing just fine. Please, Lord. Oh, no problem. She digs in. Those are definitely mud tires. Oh, we're good. We're through. All right, just time to get back there now.
feel pretty darn relieved that it's still here. Yeah, for sure. It doesn't look like uh, it doesn't look like anybody's messed with it. All the stuff is still there. The generator's still there. I don't think anybody's been through here, so just got to get some tires on her and get her out of here. Right. What well, life did great back here, by the way. Super happy about that. She's a beast, man. She's a beast. Well, boys, there she is, the abandoned pro. You can see how much snow we've gotten. It's really not more than maybe an inch or two. Yeah, luckily, it was hard to tell coming up, but it, it wasn't much snow, so it was pretty easy to get in here with Mud Life. It did an awesome job. It looks bad now, but I think we just get the tires out and we start lifting this thing up. Just do one corner at a time. Yeah. And then uh, I think we'll start with the back. And yep. I think we can probably back it up out of the holes we've made and then uh, just bash it out of here. Looking forward to it, man. Let's get this done. Yep. man this is it we got one crank off one tire on one giant ass <laughs> 36 so mud life got out here on 35s no problem granted it's on portals but i think 36 is on this thing is gonna do uh gonna do damage out here so we're gonna do a really good job and that's it one down four to go it wasn't too hard rinse and repeat at this point man yeah, actually i'm really hot because i was dressed up with a lot less layers last time we were out here and it was freezing but it's almost 30 degrees today and i'm like I'm freaking dying, dude. <laughs> yeah, well, we're not on a not on a time crunch here, so we're just gonna take yeah. our time, do the same thing three more times, and then uh, go home. Just zoom on out of here, dude. Yep. Well, look at that, Doug. Pretty much two out of four. Yeah, we're getting there, man. We're getting there. It's a lot of work out here, but we're gonna make it. Whew. All right, we got the back two tires on. Front two are obviously real buried, so we're gonna attempt to see if it will back itself up out of these holes before we change the front ones, just because that'll make it easier on us, so. I guess you could back up or go forward. Yeah, either way. We'll see what it'll do. Yeah, see which way it'll move. Maybe forwards the play. Yeah. Coming at me? Yeah. Yeah, make sure she's in firm, dude. Yeah, it should be. See if it'll back up just a little bit. deeper unfortunately yeah. wow it's buried buried we left it very stuck so yeah that's okay we'll just lift up the front end change them same way we did the back yeah we can do that and then maybe get the winch off mud life and then yep. kind of tug her forward and once we get on top of this stuff like this is super duper hard right once you get on top you're on top we'll be okay oof all right keep digging All right, Doug, what the hell just happened here? We got the tires back on her. She's back on her feet. She'll spin all four. So feeling very good about that. 
we're uh, our situation is improving tremendously. So I think we're just gonna go ahead and clean up our mess now. We got crap scattered all over the place, so we'll get all that stuff piled in the fro and in the mud life, and then uh, we're gonna get this thing out of here. And I think it's only appropriate, you know, to try to let it get itself out. Right. So we'll jump in her, let her warm up a little bit, and see if we can rock her out of there. Get the heck back to the trailer. In worst case, we got a winch right here, but I don't think we'll need it, buddy. We got winches, yeah. We got more rope now, so we can get this winch working if needed. We got straps, we got everything. So we're over prepared this time, which means we won't need any of it, yep. ideally. And so one thing I do want to say before we get out of here is that these tracks were not meant for this machine. We pushed these tracks to the edge. The tracks that are on Rick's car were meant for his machine. They lasted, these ones didn't. I mean, yeah, everybody, you know, is gonna draw their own conclusions based on, you know, what they saw. But, you know, we knew there was risk going in, taking stuff that was designed for a lighter machine, putting it on a much heavier, much more powerful machine and pushing it really hard. We've done that all the time in the name of fun and it, you know, it bit us this time, but it's whatever. We got the machine, we're taking it home. No worse for wear, really. A couple scratch plastics, whatever. We'll fix those. So, yeah, not, uh, you know, always strive to take responsibility for the positions that we put ourselves in. And this is just another one of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, let's clean this crap up and get out of here, dude. Yep. Ready? Yeah. Yeah, man. You can just probably power forward, honestly. Back a little more, you think? Yep, now forward, get her. Okay. Okay, we're back. getting there. Oh, she's coming, Doug. Yeah. Heck yeah, dude. Ooh, almost, close. Almost made the bump. <laughs> Wait, that's good, dude. Just dig it in. Whoa, no brakes, no brakes. Oh, Jesus. Almost <laughs> lost my knees. <laughs> brakes are frozen. I guess I could have seen that coming from a mile away. Whew, that, was, that was close. She's out, though, man. Heck that was yeah. awesome. I knew she'd Heck yeah. Out. Wow. Whew. How does this thing look on 36s, out. by the way? It looks pretty damn cool on 36s. Will they clear the front? Wow. Probably not, but. Well, yeah, you're not gonna be able to turn tight, but it does look neat, man, for sure. Maybe with some more preload, they'd be runnable. We may maybe just leave them on there for a little adventure at some point, who knows? Wow. Heck yeah, dude. That was great. We're in good, good shape now. So get those last couple tracks loaded up and. Get the hell out of here. Get out of the woods. Our pro. I'm glad I'm le leaving the woods with my kneecaps intact as well. Overall, that was very scary. Yeah, overall. <laughs> she wasn't stopping too good. Turns out she was packed full of snow and ice and then it sat out here for two days. The brakes weren't quite ready to play yet. Yeah, you guys could have had a Pro XP4 seat, man. Dang. They'll you should have just looked harder. They'll come around. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, if you could have gotten out of here, you could have had it. Okay. All right. I'm Let's do it. This, ah, this is Will you're talking about, man. So we're gonna back this up so we can load the. Look at him! <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> All right, we're gonna pull mud life up and load these tracks in and get the hell out of here. Pro XP can do it. Can mud life do it? We're gonna pull it up here. Grab these tracks. Wow. That's good, Those buddy. portals make That's a good. ton of difference, dude. Yeah. I mean, ground clearance, man, means a lot. For ground sure. clearance means everything. She's heavy on this unit yeah. for sure. Well, this is classic. This is classic. No good deed goes unpunished here. Hey, Will. Of course, we're having a hard time backing out. Yeah, so we got to turn around. There's no room. So we try to back up, the bro gets stuck in here. This thing ain't turning for nothing. I think, yeah, this is where we're gonna have to make our turn around though. So. Yep. Get her, bud. <laughs> she still wanna turn.
this doesn't look bad but the problem is where the tires are there's about another foot of snow underneath so of course unfortunately when it starts digging there she goes look at that those are three foot tall tires center drive line is just not enjoying life. One thing we noticed too, these tires are very directional obviously for the mud. They work very good forward. Pretty good backwards, but not as good as forward. Oh yeah, dude. This thing's killing it. Oh, we're good. This is it. It's gonna catch that rut. That's gonna go. Oh yeah. All right, I'm getting in, dude. So much for mud life, this thing is snow life. Woo. All right. I was explaining to the people that underneath the snow the tires are on is about another foot. Oh, of yeah. Super just hard stuff. Hard ice, snow. So nothing comes easy. Right. Good work. Gold now. Look at that. Leave with one and come back with two. Can't ask for much more than that. <laughs> My battery case. Look at that thing. You're good, Will. Wow. Two long machines on one long trailer. Not sure what else to say, man. It worked out. I'm very happy about it. <laughs> How do you feel about it? I feel happy. Excited. Yeah, you were doing a little bit of ripping there on the way back. I that got was pretty a cool. Bit of ripping in. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, I don't want to tear up the snow wheel guy's stuff, so I didn't. Yeah, I hear you. Didn't get her hard in the trail, but. Well, Dougie, what do you got to say about it? I'm uh, relieved, man. Feels good. We got a lot of stuff to do uh, back at the shop, so feels good to have that thing back in our hands and safe and you know overall we struggled a bit <laughs> with this little adventure the whole thing but still just have an absolute blast doing stuff like this so overall all good already looking back on it and laughing it's a shame the pro had to sit in the woods for two days but you know what are you gonna do so I think that's probably it for this one eh just a boring ride home hopefully so uh, thank you guys for being with us as always. Hope you enjoyed the second installment of Orienteering. <laughs> I imagine we'll do it again probably a bit differently, but let us know, you know, what you think of the whole the whole deal. And uh, just thank you so much for supporting. Thank you for watching all these videos, subscribing, buying parts on the parts site, donating on Patreon. Everything you guys do to support us doing this is just so cool. We appreciate it big time. 2020 is going to be absolutely insane. 2019 was huge. The stuff we've got planned, the stuff we're continuing to plan for the rest of this year is absolutely wild. So hopefully you guys stick around with us. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. 
and uh, we'll see you back here in a couple days.